Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Birch reduction focusing on regiochemistry. In my last video, I shared uh, that the Birch reduction was a reduction of the benzene or the aromatic ring directly, uh, and that it was a dissolving metal reduction, and that the product was a one as a, a you know, non-conjugated 1,4 cyclohexadiene. The situation can change if we put a substituent on uh, on benzene. Now, there are two possible products that could form. One in which the substituent is on one of the new SP3 hybridized or saturated positions, and one in which the substituent is on one of the, one of the remaining SP2 hybridized positions. And it turns out that which one of these predominates depends on the identity of R. Uh, and so we have an opportunity for regioselectivity. And in order to understand uh, what the, the what factor R has, we're going to look just a, a little bit about a little bit into the intermediates that form during the course of the reaction. I'm not going to draw the uh, I'm not going to draw the arrows at so much at this point. We're just going to look at the structure of the intermediates. Um, but after the first, oops, after the first single electron transfer from sodium. Uh, the reaction forms a radical anion. So we have, we have a, a negative charge and, and a radical on opposite sides of the ring from each other. And yes, there are other resonance structures, but we're going to leave this here. Um, the other regioisomer, all right, so this is, this is the uh, radical anion looks like it's going to go towards forming the first regioisomer. And here is the radical anion. It looks like it leads to the second regioisomer. And it's in these two structures right here that uh, give us a hint at what sort of uh, what sort of role R can play? So if R is something that stabilizes anions, then we're going to get this uh, regioisomer of the radical anion favored, and this regioisomer is favored. If it's R is something that stabilizes anions, then R is going then R is going to favor formation of the radical anion with the anion at that spot. If R is something that destabilizes anions, then the first structure is disfavored. Because if R destabilizes anions, then you know, if that anion is not going to want to be near to R, and it's going to favor, or at least fail to disfavor, uh, the, the first or the second structure. And I think it's actually more accurate to say that in the first case, the second structure is not favored, and in and the and in the second case, the second structure is not disfavored. And so that, that's a, it's a minor distinction, but it, we're going to see it again uh, coming up in, in the, the study of aromatic substitution reactions. So if R stabilizes anions, then a reaction that puts an anion next to R, that product's going to be favored. If R does not stabilize anions or R destabilizes anions, then the intermediate is going to be formed that avoids that anion next to R. Okay. So then now let's talk about these 
two cases. What kinds of things stabilizes, or what kinds of things stabilize anions? Well, if R stabilizes anions, then R has to be uh, electron withdrawing. So what, what kinds of things are uh, electron withdrawing? Well, R could be a nitro group. R could be a ketone. Or, or pretty much any other carbonyl compound, you know, like a, an ester. R could be nitrile. There, there, there's some trickiness in here as you know, some of these things are themselves uh, capable of being reduced under these uh, conditions. But these, this, is, this is kind of the idea here. You know, R could be the aldehyde. Uh, and taking, for example, the taking, for example, the the ketone. If R is a ketone, then it's pretty easy to see that uh, the ketone through resonance can further stabilize that anion. And all of these things also, all of these other groups actually can stabilize that anion through resonance as well. So I need a negative charge on my oxygen and I need a little In this video, I'm going to talk about rad radical on my, on the other end here. So electronic drawing groups will stabilize the intermediate that puts the uh, the the electron or puts the anion next to that electron withdrawing group. So electron withdrawing groups uh, like our ketone. We'll find some some uh, Birch conditions. Electron withdrawing groups react with uh, under these dissolving metal conditions. To form the re preferentially form the regioisomer, uh, where the electron withdrawing electron withdrawing group is on one of the sp3 hybridized positions, uh, and that's because that's where the anion formed. And you could also make a case that the second intermediate, which is also an anion, can be stabilized uh, this way. If R destabilizes anions, the types of things that destabilize anions. Our electron donating groups. Well, what are electron donating groups? This includes like alkoxy groups, alkyl groups, sort of maybe non obviously uh, other aromatic rings like in biphenyl. Amines, and, and even some carbonyl functional groups like esters, so long as the ester is not attached at the carbonyl carbon, but at the other, at the, on the other side through the oxygen. All of these things are electron donating by induction or resonance. And all of these things for, uh, react with, under the Birch conditions to form the other regioisomer. And that's because I fennel, you are too big. Let's drag this up here. And that's because these things are electron donating. And so they're going to not want to have an anion next to something that's electron donating. Electron donating groups destabilize anions. So this concludes my video on the regiochemistry of the Birch reduction. Um, there may end up being one more video in this series that uses molecular orbital theory to back up some of these 
uh, claims and show you that not just does resonance work, but complementarily molecular orbital theory also shows that the LUMO orbitals of these compounds are pre uh, sort of preferentially oriented to undergo reduction in a certain place and not in a certain other place and not in other places. Okay. So, you know, if you want to go on and watch that video, you're welcome to, if you're happy to stop here, go ahead and stop here. Thanks for watching.